other folks um, just found this um, earlier on. <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, look at the shape of it. They've got the head coming up here, coming down here, and an eye. And some sort of nose, m mouth area, and chin area of this mud fossil. This is the other side of it, so it's not like a sorry, nicely carved effigy. It's a mud fossil of some kind of being that perhaps existed prior to the Great Flood. As you can see the eye, it's a brow ridge coming down to nose and there's the mouth and the chin area. This is a very, very <laughs> unique and strange looking thing. And I also found this, which is razor sharp all along here and here. And you can see where it's been carved into a tool by the pre-flood peoples. It almost looks like a leaf, a kind of a leaf shape. So I think it was used as a tool for cutting, very sharp there, and for scooping. Yeah, I found that as well today. But the main reason I'm making this video is because um, a little while ago, I found some very, very strange rocks, indeed, um, that seem to resemble perhaps shapes of creatures that could be a near coming up, but I'm not sure about that. But the, the reason I'm showing you these is because although these are rocks, you can see all these strange markings like hexagonal shapes in them but the most interesting thing is this crystalline structure here in between the rocks that is a glass it's like glass a crystal kind of glass intersecting between the rocks there's more of it here that you can see it here that's all crystal it's like glass and there's some more of it here that's all glass And I do have some, I have, I've got a really good piece, it's like the shape of a crow, but I can't find it. I'll have to have a look outside for it. And there you go, there's more of this rock. It seems to be like veins running through it. It's like a mud kind of rock, but it has this rock hard crystalline glass in it. There's it running through like seams but then it run it's not being made by man because it runs through and it just stops and becomes part of the rock there we go there, there it is the hard glass and this is rock like a mud rock um, there's a really big piece of it here now, the interesting thing is, right, I found these at low tide. I had to wear a pair of wader boots to get these right out near the middle of the river at low tide, and my feet were just sinking into the mud. I thought I was going to go in like quicksand because I saw a clump, a pile of these, and I had to get them being a rock collector. So I kind of waded through the mud, and there they were. That's, Ten pieces altogether. I've got some more somewhere. Like I said, I've got a crow-shaped one. So <laughs> went back and forth carrying these back. Now, this here is like a mud rock, but this is crystalline glass. That is not rock. It's glass. And there, there, there's the outline of the glass. That's rock. 
And there's the outline of the glass structure here, like crystal. So, this is a really big piece here. Could be pop. I'm wondering if they're body parts of creatures prior to the flood that got fossilized. They might be chunks of muscle, for all that I know. Uh, I think Roger Spur at Mud Boss would be the best man to look at these. And if you're watching this, Roger, maybe you can uh, explain what they are. I mean, look at this piece here. This is all like mud rock, soft mud rock, and then intersected with this crystalline structure all the way through. Interesting shape, that one. It's almost split in two, but this solid glass crystal structure there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll make another video when I find the other pieces. Thank you.